Hello and welcome everybody. I am Awkwardly Average Beard Casual Acquaintance and today we are breaking down the sniper class. What is the sniper class? You already know that. Why am I asking so many questions? Is because I lost what I'm going to be talking about. Okay, now I remember. Let's talk about the best snipers in the game or let's determine which sniper is the best in the game but firstly i want to mention that since this is headquarters game play and it's quite long i believe it's something like 15 minutes i'm not sure if i'm going to be cutting the video putting music if i stop talking or if i'm going to be just talking throughout the whole thing so pardon me because i'm not actually watching the gameplay i'm pre-recording this but this is actually me getting 72 heals kills <laughs> in headquarters um, with a ballista and I was very excited to have this great of a match with a sniper rifle so hopefully you guys enjoy the match um, and enjoy my commentary because I put my heart and my penis in my commentary so hopefully you guys enjoy enjoy both of them you girls just stay the fuck away no I'm joking only girls only girls okay but let's get um let's get into this commentary because <clears throat> I just wasted like a minute and a half talking about my penis. Okay, these are 50s, the first sniper we're going to be dissecting. It's going to be the first. You're probably wondering, actually, why aren't we talking about the SVU first? Because it sucks and you shouldn't use it. Okay, DSR 50, the first bolt action you get, and preferably the best bolt action you get. In fact, Treyarch has this whole sniper system and balance system in weapons perfect in the sniper category it's wonderful because if somebody new is coming into call of duty they don't want to start off with a sniper like the ballista they want to start off with a sniper like the dsr 50 because you you really don't get much hit markers and it's an easy to use sniper rifle that's very good in fact it's the first sniper rifle i got gold camo with it's a fantastic weapon Okay, let's go through our first setup right here. I have it written down. I have a DSR-50 with ballistic CPU, obviously, and variable zoom and fast mags. Three attachments means you need to put on the wild card primary gunfighter. And with a secondary, I usually like to roll with the Cap-40 or the B-23. However, the Cap-40 is probably more reliable in my opinion. The perks you want to be using pretty much for all the uh, sniper classes are Hardline, Scavenger, or Toughness. And, um, and dexterity. However, since we have three attachments in this class, dexterity is a no-go, so you're not going to have a third perk slot. And also, we have the Bouncing Betty or Claymore and one Shock Charge. Again, your opinions, these are just the classes that work for me. Okay, the second class I want to mention is the one without three attachments, the DSR-50, um, Ballistic CPU, um, Variable Zoom, Cap-40, and this time include all the attachments I, I listed above, but with Dexterity, because Dexterity is hot. I love Dexterity. You just run around like a freaking Jackie Chan ninja, like a, like a Jackie Chan. So, Ballista, now we're entering the sniper rifle after the DSR. This sniper rifle, in fact, I want to go back to what I said before, how good Treyarch is at at implementing snipers into this game. Because since the person that just started playing this game is getting into, used to sniping, they're doing good with the DSR, now they, they're like, what the fuck, another bolt action sniper rifle? Why is this one gonna be any different than my favorite sniper, the DSR-50? Well, let me get into the reasons why the Ballista is fantastic and why it's not so fantastic. Firstly, the DSR-50 is a one-shot kill from the waist up, means that you pretty much will never get a hit marker unless you aim for the feet like fucking, like like you're doing Kung Fu, you know? So, this, I have like a weird, like, a weird th themery in this video. All I'm talking about is like ninjas and Kung Fu, but and Taekwondo, there are two different things. You should know that. So, I'm completely off track. I'm sorry. Ballista. It's not a one-shot kill from the waist up. In fact, it's a one-shot kill from the chest up. This might not seem like a big deal, but it is. You'll get significantly more hit markers with the Ballista. So, why even use it? Well, let me tell you why you should use it, you scavenger man. Hmm, that's a weird thing to call someone. Yes, why should you use the Ballista? Well, firstly, you run quicker, it's more mobile, you, you just, you're you everywhere at the same time, you know, you're like a freaking electron, so you run quickly everywhere. Also, you can, it's, I believe, don't count me on this though, it's a quicker um, ADS. If it's not, 
that's no problem. It's still a great gun because although the waist to the chest ratio isn't huge, it's still noticeable. However, if you're a good sniper, you should definitely lean towards the ballista. Not all sniper snipers do that, but I suggest you lean towards the ballista mainly because you move faster. It's easier to quick scope with because it's much more accurate. There's much, there's such a significantly amount of less sway. Is that even, does that make sense? There's way less sway. That's all I was trying to say. <laughs> that rhymed. There's way, way, way less slay in sway. Fuck. Sway in the ballista. That means quick scoping is very viable. It's a very viable choice. And you, it's, you don't even have to breathe in to get people from a medium distance. That's why it's great. It's also good for drag scoping. So, comparing the DSR to ballista, it's a, it's a, person's choice but for a good sniper i recommend the ballista because because you really don't have to worry for um you're, you really don't have to worry about two shot kills because you're usually just aiming from the chest and up but then again it's all a choice okay for the ballista class i'm actually gonna just take the stuff i said before but the dsr and just move it to the ballista because that's what i like to use in the ballista as well um the best camos for the ballista i guess we can talk about that for like two seconds the best camo probably is blue or gold because i love the way they look but every camo looks good on the ballista because you know how guns sometimes have really crappy looking camos where it's like just a quarter of the gun is like the camo and then everything else is just some like black color well here it's literally all the whole gun is um a certain camo and there's a little streaks of black which gives it texture so it looks very good with camos on the ballista so if you're a camo maniac then i suggest use the ballista and it sounds cool the ballista's name is very cool because i never really agreed with naming weapons like the freaking like just numbers and shit like the, what the fuck is a swat 553 or 556 whatever so ballista my favorite class for the ballista and i doubt you guys won't like this class it's the best class i could think of and this is the class you see me using right now in the gameplay it's the ballista with the s12 this means we have to equip overkill i know i'm crazy i'm such a crazy person please don't hurt me Bambi. bambi what the fuck okay Ballista with the S12. You might be wondering, what the fuck is the S12? Have you even heard of that weapon? Yes, you have, but you never actually used it because it's the most underused freaking weapon in the world. It's actually the semi-automatic shotgun that you get um, pretty early on in the leveling process. I say process instead of process because, because, uh, because I want to. So, equip the S12 or even the 870, but I prefer the S12 not only because you could because you can spray down a crap ton of people, but because it's just a much more viable shotgun for as a secondary. Equip overkill with the baby ballista. Um, equip the ballistic CPU for the ballista, get it? Um, and variable zoom, because variable zoom is so good for sniper rifles. It is just fantastic. I love it. And then the same perks I said um, before, hardline and scavenger, or hardline and toughness, and no dexterity, no dexterity. And claymore bouncing betty. However, for this class, I prefer the bouncing betty because you can throw it around like a, like a ping pong ball. And then bring down the shock charge because shock charges are the best. The best. Okay, now let's continue to the very final sniper rifle. You may not have heard of it. Actually, you probably have because it actually gets a lot of people using it these days. It's called the XPR. What does it stand for? It stands for Xylophone Preterite Running. And why is Xylophone Preterite Running so good? Well, because it's as powerful as the Ballista, but with a little less accuracy. This is why it's the taster's choice. It's a semi-automatic sniper rifle, so you can spray and pray like a scrub. No, I'm joking. But you can't spray and pray. And it's actually quite a decent sniper rifle. The sway, however, is as bad, if not worse, than the DSR's um, sway. So it is dangerous to um, dangerous not to breathe in with the weapon. However, I do suggest you breathe, breathe in. And the setup I suggest you use is either ballistic CPU um, or variable zoom. Just one attachment should be fine. However, you should still use the ballistic CPU, if anything. So... Out of all these sniper rifles, which one do I recommend? Which sniper rifle? You might be thinking, I recommend the Ballista because it is the best sniper, right? Um, in my opinion, it's the best sniper, but for they're always the taster's choice. This is why Treyarch's game is so great. Because it doesn't matter what I think. 
because people think differently and that's what you've seen probably in my past um my best lmg in the game video where i was saying the best lmg is the hammer hammer time baby but other people are saying it's the mk48 other people are saying it's the qsw i hope that's the i hope i'm saying that right um it's just such a taster's choice you know like you might think it's this, I might think it's that, it's all different. I'm just listing the setups I think people who enjoy the snipe will do very well at, actually. Because, I mean, I didn't think the ballista was good until I started using it. And when I started using it, I just clicked like that and I just started boom, 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 booming, everybody, you know. It's just a quicker to use weapon. So, yes, if you are an experienced sniper rifle, sniper, sorry, you're a sniper rifle, fuck you. No, um, if you're an experienced sniper in the black ops 2 video game not other not other video games like battlefield or or black ops 1 if you're an experienced sniper rifle in black ops 2 if you know if you're comfortable to like in using a sniper rifle i suggest the ballista however if you want an easier and less frustrating experience the dsr is always there for you baby you wake up at night and you or you come home from work tired the dsr is always there to cuddle with you and give you hot cocoa um and then and then screw your brains out because it's a very very good weapon and it's fantastic so the weapon i recommend for semi-automatic it's obviously the xpr for for bolt action i recommend the ballista however again takes your choice so that's pretty much what i'm going to be saying this video i do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys have learned something. Hope you guys know how to how to be good at the game now. And lastly, I want to say that take your time with sniping, everybody. Take your time because it is tough to snipe in this game. Not as tough as before, but it is still tough. It's still tough to get the get your scope there. So take your time, everybody. Don't rush around like a madman. Uh, try to stay back. Try to look down your sights as much as possible, and you'll do as good as good as anybody sniping. You know, I, I did pretty well this game, but then again, it might be just luck. You know, because I'm still not a professional sniper rifle. But I hope this mini guide kind of helped you. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Super Setups. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'm awkwardly average, and have a fucking great day, motherfuckers. <laughs> no, no, <clears throat> no. Have a great day, though. Peace. Hostiles have destroyed your sentry gun. Your position scanning. Keep pressing the fight. We're ahead. Headquarters identified. Lightning strike warnings received. Inbound. Sniper down! Friendly UAV inbound. Target down! Be advised, hostile hunter killer drone inbound. Mission clock about to expire. Step up. Headquarters online. Friendly Hellstorm missile inbound. Headquarters secured. Hellstorm missile awaiting orders. Friendly Hellstorm missile inbound. UAV inbound. 